Ready for the opening tip. Kumaji and Horde. Kumaji at seven foot four. Shot clock at six for Childress. Weaving his way. Tough shots. Full of runners scoring. And Brandon Childress snaking the screen and roll. And then a hook shot over top. Anthony gave it up to Horde. Childress show and go. Another wild shot off the backboard and good. The second time getting to the rim, going with the floater to finish over top of the set. Ford got the rebound. He leads the team in rebounding, close to eight per game. Second most among freshmen. Up and under. And Wake is going for style points so far, Corey Alexander. Gopher. Smart came out to close out. Up top, and they'll put it on the rim for Kamachi. This is right. Shot comes up short, may have been deflected right into Brown's hands for two. Find themselves having to play overtime games in another scenario just like that here. Down 12 too early, now 14 2, as Brandon Childress has dominated the paint. Here comes Nichols, the graduate transfer. He wants three. Nichols knocking it down. Every game on Raycom Sports will take you right to the championship Saturday night. Got inside. Good work on the boards. Have really had great seasons and looking to build on their season resume by trying to win the ACC tournament. Without a field goal. Beyond three minutes and 30 seconds, and now that's going to continue as the runout comes up for Florida State, and Gray lays it in. He's got four points. And just like that, Florida State has gotten back to seven, but they've been able to do it on the defensive end, coming up with stops. Wake is led by as many as 12, but that's Brown rising and firing for two. And that really, you know, was part of that one and four start where you had to question if we were going to see the same things from Florida State. Inconsistent play in ACC play that we've seen all season. It's easier looks over really, you know, very few contested shots from from Florida State early, but now getting the basketball inside to Kamaji. Looking for Kamaji down low. Back and in. Tough to stop. And that's Kamaji's first basket against Wake Forest this season that is not a dunk. And I believe he definitely was a front runner before he got hurt, but R.J. Barrett has really carried the load for Duke since his injury. As Devin Vassell knocks down another three-pointer. Leonard Hamilton right now, the luxury that he has, he can try to play so many different combinations together, but looking for the right combination to give him what he needs offensively and defensively. Wake has the ball to start the second half. Just one field goal in the last 10 minutes of the first half. They go back door. Kamaji has the block. Just two for 14 in three-point shooting for Florida State. Go for the turnaround. Holland Brandon Childress. Entry to Kumaji shooting over the double team. Tipped up and in. Kofer was up there. Surprisingly, Kumaji shoots 62% from the floor most of the time, though. Got a fistful of heavy metal. There's a three. Expected for him to be the senior to end of the season taking over as the leader of this team with C.J. Walker transferring. But you see the dribble penetration and the kick to M.J. Walker. Thanks to this team, the ability to handle the basketball so well and find his teammates, especially when he gets into the painted area. This is the closest that Florida State has been since it was one to nothing. Louisville and Virginia Tech in overtime. The three miss from Ward. Right, Junior. Hello. Give Chris Kumaji a tremendous amount of credit getting out there and contesting that shot from Childress. Forrest the other way. Knocking down a triple. Musius trying to get away from Gray, who knocked it away and picked it up. Florida State on the run, up top for man. And he's rocking the rim. Which is 17 for 17 from the free throw line. No points for Wake in the last two minutes, 40 seconds until now. Iron was unkind. <laughs> First miss from the line in the game for Wake Forest. And again, Trent Forrest attacking the paint. And they've won all three of those games at OT this season. You claiming overtime already? I'm not. 
<laughs> I'm just giving you historical perspective as they beat Virginia Tech on Tuesday in overtime. Ooh, a wicked crossover. Randolph an assistant on Danny Manning's staff. Bit of a mismatch inside. And Florida State able to take advantage with Trent Forrest. The Childress's. Brandon a junior, so they have another year to be able to put more separation. Kevin Gelly made the block corner. Back in the corner. Slashing. Working around the perimeter for three. Florida State and P.J. Savoy. Ward guarding the baseline. Now Forrest. Team, especially playing in this league, you have to operate well in every facet of the game. They haven't done that at the free throw line here tonight. That's Phil Kofer. It's a 9-0 run for the Seminoles. Brandon Childress in front, recognizing that Childress was going to be aggressive on that possession. Three-point attempt. Ripping the ropes, MJ Walker. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> not just that's it. <laughs> not just this season, ever. That's mm. not what he does. Old man with a scoop. Count the basket for Terrence Mann. Born in Brooklyn, New York. And attended the Tilton School in New Hampshire for prep ball. Got his miss back. Essentially a four-point play for Terrence Mann. We were tied at 45, and since then, all of the points in our game have come from the Seminoles. Ford, the fake on Komaji. Score the basket. This is Mann. Pull up from Forrest. Follow Jim, Kevin Gilly. Doesn't really change his expression all that much. Doesn't yell at the players necessarily. What is it that he does so effectively? He manages personalities, and that's what he does. An ACC play for Leonard Hamilton. Wake Forrest with the basket and the whistle and foul. Just did get up behind the play. On the run, Musius missed the jam. He got it back from right and he lays it in. And right now we're talking about a nine-point game. And it will be four wins in a row to close out the regular season for Florida State. Billis for three! Anthony Billis knocking it down for three-point range. Earlier in the year, Anthony Bill has got his first basket.